Hey guys, this is Elm from It's About Watch Reviews. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, so I thought I'd start today um, reviewing something different than uh, what I've been reviewing. Uh, if you notice in my other videos, I've been reviewing Seiko and Casio watches, and I've gotten some comments on whether I'm, uh, I just like those two brands, and the answer is no. So today I have got a, um, a German-made watch. Uh, this is made um, by basically one watchmaker and maybe several others that he has. Um, based out of Germany, this is a pure mechanical watch, no batteries. Um, it does not auto hand, uh, it does not auto wind, so you'll have to hand wind it. I'll explain to you a little bit about what this is. This is a special watch, um, all handmade, and it just kind of goes back to kind of the pure essence of uh, timekeeping. Um, you know, instead of having machines make watches, this is actually some train watchmaker um, who goes by the name of Dirk, um, who is actually making these. So, again, just about the watch itself, this is a Dornbluth and Sun. Um, in German, I believe it's Dornbluth and Sonne. Um Again, it's made in the city of, I, again, I can't pronounce that, but it's, is it called Germany? It's in between... It's west of Berlin, um, east of Hamburg. So it's in the middle of those two cities in Germany. Um, but yeah, this is again a purely mechanical watch. The movement, uh, let's, let's actually talk about the case first. The case is about 42 millimeters. Um, so from um, the edge here, minus the crown obviously, to the other end is 42 millimeters. Uh, the thickness is about, I want to say about 11, maybe about 10 and a half uh, millimeters. So not as thick as well, so that's good news. It is a little bit on the big side if you're comparing 42 millimeter dive watches to 42 millimeter uh, watches like these because there is an absence of a bezel. So there's a bezel here, but it's not as thick as a diver's bezel. So the dial that you're seeing is, um, is it takes up more of the space. So this is in the style of kind of that marine, um, you know, marine chronometers with there's Arabic numbers there, so it's purely laid out. It's got an eccentric um, off seconds hand, so there's, a, again, the hour, which looks like it's in the spade hour hand, and the minutes, and then there's a um, sub-seconds hand at 6 o'clock. So um, the crown here is actually what's being used to power this watch, right? So, um, you know, every morning or so, this, uh, this should be hand-wound, but um, the power reserve on this watch is about 50 hours or so. So um, I could fully wind it using this crown, um, and then, you know, it's good for about two days or so. So to wind it, I don't know if you can hear that, but let me actually zoom in a little bit. So maybe you can hear um, that, that kind of rotating action. That's the movement um, being wound. Okay, so look. Let me turn it over, and, and really this is what's so special about the watch. It's not the front, it's the back. Look at that. Um, this is again all, all hand done, all hand engraved. So let me see if I can get a better shot. Um, Dirk himself um, has engraved the movement. This is of a typical three-quarter uh, plate from Germany. What that means is the actual movement plate is about three-quarters, so, so this actual movement plate here. That's what Germany's really known for, um, you know, if you're looking into Longa, um, Nomos, Glashuta, um, those, those, those other brands, or Glashuta uh, original. But again, there's also some very, very special kind of details. Uh, very hard to notice here, but the screws, these little screws there, they're actually heat, heated blue. So they're blue in color, and they're not um, you know, they're not painted blue. They're actually heat treated to that bluish color. Um, and then you can see the snailing done too on, on these um, uh, on these wheels. You can see how they're kind of rotating outwards. Again, just some of the details that he puts in in his watch. And then kind of just zooming out a little bit, you can also see um, the Geneva stripes. So the striping on the movement there. You can see the vertical stripes if I turn my watch over. Yeah. Um, so that's really the case back. The movement itself is 
based off of, actually the, the actual movement is based off of an Edda, but in reality he's done so much to it that, you know, it's, it's hard to call it that anymore. So, for example, um, again, this, this movement has 18 jewels, but look at the bridge there. Um, he's, he's done some really great engraving there. Um, and then you can see the movement actually moving there. Yep. And then he's also engraved his own name. And this watch physically is the 289th watch. Uh, I don't know if you can see there. Um, number 289. So, again, it's, it's a little bit on the other side of the spectrum as the watches that I've been reviewing. This is really someone who you know, really loves mechanical watches. Um, this would make a good gift for someone um, that you know who, again, appreciates fine watches. And, it, you know, it's just, it's just a lot different than the fashion watches that I've been reviewing. So uh, just, just to want to let you guys know that, you know, there are, um, that I do uh, enjoy other watches too. So, um, you know, tell me what you think about this watch. Um, this watch will run, I want to say, around $3,500, $3,700 new right now. Um, but you can get it on the used market. This is The model number is uh, Caliber 99.0 from uh, Dirk Dornbluth and Son. So I thought I'd just uh, let you admire it there. And then uh, I'm going to put it on my wrist here. My wrist is about 6 and 3 quarter inches. So you'll get to see how big the 42 millimeter in this type of style, this marine chronometer style, will look. So let's, let's put it on. And so you'll see it on my wrist there. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. This is probably about as big as I'll go um, on this style of the watch. But I'll, yeah, so there it is. And it comes with a, um, this quality leather strap. Um, what I found out, too, is the leather straps, because each of these watches are handmade and made to order, for the most part, um, you can get them readily, you know, purchased from a retailer as well. But the leather bands will be unique because of the stitching. So, uh, you know, it'll just depend on what leather bands he's got. Uh, this specific model is made in, I want to say, kind of that beige, white, off-tone sand dial as well. Um, the dial is actually silver, and this one is matte painted black. Um, the hour and the minute hands has the coating, the superlumina super noving uh, coating, as well as um, as those numbers. So it's a little bit more on the casual, sporty side, even though it has a leather band. So um, you know, I'll I'll wear this with um, jeans or whatnot. Um, you know, it's just it's just casual. It's not too dressy. It's not as thin as a dress watch. Um, it's a good weekend watch. So uh, let me know what you think. And, um, you know, if you do like this brand or if you have one, give me your thoughts. Uh, there are other caliber models, 99.2. Um, there's also 99.1. And, again, those are all calibers that he has either done or made modifications to. So... Um, Again, almost, almost a true manufacturer. In fact, he is a true manufacturer. Just this specific model is not a true manufacturer, but it's about 99% there. Um, again, I forgot to mention the top of the, uh, the crystal there is a sapphire. It's anti-reflected uh, coating added on the inside. So you don't get the smudges that you'll see on some watches that have coatings on both sides. And you also don't have a chance of um, taking away those... Um, those any re reflective coatings. Now, the sapphire crystal is slightly domed. It's about 1.6 millimeters thick. Um, very slightly domed, you can probably see there. Flipping it over, that glass on the back is also sapphire. It's screwed in. Screwed in case back. Uh, but yeah, look at that moving. It's just, um, apologies for all the marks on there. I've been wearing this watch, so there's a couple of... Uh, most likely oil marks, but um, yeah, just just amazing. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just gorgeous. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see a little bit more detail um, about the watch from a little bit farther away. But all right, guys, this is Elm from It's About Watch Reviews with a different watch for you.
um, for review today. All right, until next time. Bye.